lifting up Jesus, opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, United States, and throughout the world. You're watching L'Oreal TV. Hi, this is Tim from L'Oreal TV and L'Oreal Radio here with James Jacob Press. Jacob, one of the believers had a question after watching a bit uh, that Sheldon uh, spoke about and you spoke about at the Hayes Conference concerning the Cohen DNA. Uh, his uh, initial thing was there are a lot of Jewish people named Cohen and do, would they automatically have the DNA? And how does that DNA tie into the Levitical priesthood? Not necessarily. There are Levitical names like Cohen, and there are Levitical names like Levi or Levinson, or there are Levitical names like Siegel, Segal. These are all Levitical names. However, there are Jews who may have had some other tribal ancestry in the ancient world who married a Kohen and took the Kohen name. They would not have Kohenic DNA. Also, in the United States at Ellis Island, there was a tendency during the great immigrations at the end of the 8th, uh, 19th and early 20th centuries in Ellis Island in, in, in New York Harbor, where the spelling or the names of people that were complicated to pronounce. And this happened sometimes to Irish people, it happened to Polish people, it happened to Russian people, it happened to Italian people. Well, it happened also to Jewish people. The immigration officers would just give a, a Jew a name, if it sounded broadly like Cohen, they would just write, here's your names, C-O-H-E-N, Cohen. That might not have been his name. It might have been uh, something other, but they just couldn't pronounce it, so they said Cohen. Having the name does not guarantee you have the DNA. First of all, you have to get the mitochondrial signatures. And they have to be in common with the main body of mitochondrial signatures of Jews named Cohen. And what is more difficult, it is difficult to get long enough DNA strands to get good signatures from bone, ancient bone tissue. That is very difficult, although that technology is getting better. So, no, having the name Cohen doesn't prove that you've got that DNA. But it is reasonable to say that the majority of the Jews who have that DNA, who have that Cohen gene, would have Levitical names like Cohen, or Khan, or Levy, or Levinson, or Levinsky, or Siegel, many. Uh, that's about as accurately as I can answer it. The mitochondrial DNA research that we have today from organizations like Ancestry.com, this technology is getting better and better. Now, at one time, people would have asked, all the 12 tribes, how could we know what tribe they were from? Or how could you prove it? Even if God knows, how could we know? It is a case where it is becoming a scientific reality that if you get enough Jews with names like Reuben or Rubenstein, okay, or if you can get enough Jews with a name like Asher, there are Jews named Asher, or, or again, Cohen, or, if, or from the tribe of Judah, if you get Jews with names like Davidson, okay, Ben David, which in Hebrew is Ben David, if you get enough Jews with names like that, and you can get enough signatures, that are the same in their mitochondrial, uh, it's not really a structure, well, it's a structure, but the same in their mitochondrial characteristics, identifiably of the same extended family, tribe, or clan. And if the technology continues to progress, remember, the 12 tribes of Israel were not only tribes, they were like provinces or shires or counties. If we could get enough excavated bone from ancient Israel 
and harvest enough signatures, enough mitochondrial strands to get signatures from that bone tissue. And bone tissue, unlike soft tissue, it can last many centuries. The book of Ezekiel draws on this in chapter 37. If you could get enough, it's difficult, but the technology is getting better. And match that with current signatures. It is not unthinkable that a time may come, and the time may come fairly soon. I don't know. A decade, two decades, I don't know. But fairly soon, it is not impossible to think that it's not implausible to think this, that we would have a way to identify Jews by tribe. The most research thus far has been done in the tribe of Levi. And this is consistent with the interest in these two yeshivas that we have in Jerusalem to resurrect a Levitical priesthood of Kohens, of Kohanim, of priests. I hope this answers the question. Thank you so much. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless. Thank you, Jacob. So, Jacob, d does that tie into the Temple Institute and who they choose yeah. to be uh, they, they are definitely part of it, yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The, the Temple Institute is more concerned with the reconstruction of the Temple. These two yeshivas are more concerned with the reconstruction of the priesthood. One is concerned with the buildings and artifacts and instruments of sacrifice. The other is concerned with those who will do the sacrifice.